the day's events began with the customary flag burning and the chants of death to America. As thousands of faithful flocked to Friday prayers to hear the Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei speak, the last time he did this was in 2012 in the midst of the Arab Spring. Now the spiritual and political leader of Iran turned his focus to the United States and Europe. With the Europeans having triggered the dispute mechanism in the 2015 nuclear deal and referred Iran to the United Nations. Germany, France and the evil government of the UK responded to their threat. After the US withdrawal from the nuclear deal, I said I don't trust them and that they're American servants and clients. These countries want to bring the Iranian nation to its knees. The US, which is your master, couldn't do anything, let alone you, who are smaller and weaker. They are deceitful in the negotiations with us, a steel hand in a velvet glove. They cannot be trusted. We have no problem with talks, but not with the US. But domestically, the country has seen protests against fuel price rises. And in the last week, condemnation of the downing of the Ukrainian passenger jet after it left Tehran with the loss of 176 lives. The message, one of regret and condolence. The plane crash was a bitter accident. It burnt through our heart. Next month, Iran has parliamentary elections. Polls show that the turnout could be very low, an obvious concern for the legitimacy of the political system here in Iran. My dear brothers and sisters, my dear nation of Iran, the presence of the Iranian people is the most important factor of power, and this presence is power in many places. One of the most important roles is the elections. The assassination of military commander General Qasem Soleimani by the United States had resulted in a wave of support throughout Iran. But that changed when its military shut down the Ukrainian airline. Ayatollah Khamenei decided to speak at a time when the country is experiencing intense pressure externally and domestically. This speech wasn't about big announcements, it was about rallying support and calming the situation and getting Iranians to face up to the challenges that the coming months and years this country may face. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Tehran.